This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. My voice is finally coming back to me. But today we're going to be talking about GW's uh, announcement that on the 19th they're going to be taking pre-orders for Age of Sigmar uh, Dominion. Um, now, for me, I was going to stay away from this, but I kind of changed my tune a little bit, and I'm going to tell you why. I want to give it a try. Um, first of all, the models are absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's been a while since we really had some, you know, um, a, a nice big box set like this. Um, and it, you know, kicks off. As a matter of fact, I, I, it, it's like um, Indominus where it doesn't come with any rulers or, or um, dice or anything like that. It's basically, hey, we're going to give you two big armies. We're going to give you the book. We're going to give you everything that you need to do. And... Um, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm really kind of looking forward to it. Number one, I really like the um, some of the sculpts that I saw, so that was kind of exciting. I like that I'm going to be able to get two giant armies to kind of start off, get a good feel for this, and see if this is going to be for me. Um, they haven't set a price point, but the rumor is about $199, uh, just like uh, uh, Indominus. Now, I, I didn't think the Indominus box was that bad. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I actually have that. And since I, I, I really kind of want to, where I'm still kind of going on the outside uh, of, of Games Workshop stuff, doing more stuff on the outside, uh, different types of games, um, I do want to keep my, my toe in the water, especially with a game like this. Um, how, the, how they're going to improve things, how things are going to play a little better. And getting that one big box set and doing it here, I think it would be a lot of fun and, and, and very enjoyable. Um, I'm, I'm really curious um, what, what they do with, with uh, um, uh, the orcs there. They're adding three new paints to it. Um, they actually made it where you can get a collector's edition of the um, of the rule book. You could buy that separately, or you could buy the rule book separately. Uh, like I said, three new paints and a couple other things that they're going to be adding in there. So this is kind of a, a, a good, especially if you are an Age of Sigmar guy. Now I've been away from it for a while. Uh, that it, it it might be a really good startup point, and I kind of figured, you know. As I keep looking at it and looking at it and looking at it, you know, maybe maybe this is a good point for me to jump back on, see if if this is good. We're not going to get all the world, but if this is what you're going to give us, uh, this might be something that I might end up enjoying. And and uh, uh, I remember playing, uh, you know, uh, Age of Sigmar when when it first came out, and I enjoyed it. We had a good time. Matter of fact, you could check one of the videos here on Rob's Tabletop World. Uh, actually, I, I played with somebody that I never played before, and how it simplified things and made things a lot of fun. Um, and I hope to recapture that magic again. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, uh, where we, we get it together, we put it here, and, and we just have fun with it. Um, you know, I'm willing to give it a shot. I, you know, you know. And uh, if it doesn't work out, that's okay. That's okay. At least I gave it a shot. Now. Here's the things that we hope that d doesn't happen, that there is a shortage where people are scrambling and killing each other to get this box set. Uh, I, che I checked with uh, some of the people at Miniature Market. Uh, we're going to see how that is going to turn out, uh, how many they're going to be allocated. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll keep you abreast if this is going to be a big problem. Do I think it's going to sell out quickly? I sure do. I sure do. Um, you know, Games Workshop has a uh, you know, a, a very loyal and great following. Uh, you can see out on the internet now, people are very excited about this. And of course, you know, you have your, your people that are just going to be negative no matter what. Again, I'm trying to take more of a positive look at this. And I think that this might be something that might be enjoyable, um, that we can have some fun with here. Uh, I have all this uh, godforsaken terrain. Why don't we put it to use um, and really give it a go? Um, the other thing is, um, you know, to be honest with you, you take a look at that set. That's a pretty impressive set. 
it's a pretty impressive set and it's kind of hard to stay away from um and then you know we're all curious about about you know uh, you know the reboot here uh what they got planned how they're going to go forward with it the stories that they're going to tell the tomes and everything that goes into it and you, you know if this is good enough you buy in and 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 you play it hard and i i think that you know sometimes you just gotta you gotta shake it off shake off some of the negative stuff that's going on and hopefully turn a corner and see where we end up with this and i think uh you know like i said on the 19th supposedly the pre-order and then from two weeks from there you should have have your sets at the beginning of july um let, let's let's hope for the best i know that i'm i'm gonna buy in and i'm gonna give it one last go and i really think that you know i'm just gonna forget about everything that that's that's been in the past and this is going to be my starting point where i'm just going to say yeah let's give this a real good crack uh, put it together showcase it see if it works and if it doesn't at least we gave it one more shot and that's the way i feel about it so what do you guys feel how do you guys feel about the new set are you excited about it hesitant about it i know i have a little hesitancy or are you just so done that you just go nah i i am not going nowhere near it for me I think, you know, especially being a content creator, uh, someone that, that, that uh, you know, no matter what, is always going to love GW. But um, I, th I, I think I got to throw my hat in one last time. I got to give it everything I got one last time and, and pray I don't get disappointed. So let us know what you think in the comments. And until next time, it's your old power I'm saying. We'll see you soon.